Hello and welcome to part 10 of the Gary's Mod Dark RP F4 menu series. We're coming towards the end now, but today we have fonts and images. Before the video starts, let me just quickly tell you guys to check out the Discord. Uh, link will be in, down in the description. We have a lot of fun there, you know, I help you guys out with code. So make sure to check out that and I can help you out. Anyway, so let's get started. This is the F4 menu we have so far. We're going to be adding an image somewhere on it, probably. And then we're going to be changing the fonts. So we're coming towards the end now, so we're kind of just finishing off these little things. Next episode will be buttons. Right, so we want to go into our CS underscore F4 menu lure. And we want to just use the surface library and we want to access create font. Create font allows us to create our own font using like any font that is you kind of already have installed. So we're gonna just so you need to obviously create these swiggly brackets and then we need to close those brackets like that. Then we want to tab down till we have it like that, and then this is where we're gonna create the font. So we want to give the font a name. So this is the kind of name we'll use here. So we'll just call it uh, custom. We'll call it custom font, right? And then this is what this. We're going to just make a couple of entries here. So we, this is the name of the font. Then the size of the font, like you know how in you would normally get a kind of a size of a font. Like here's WordPad, you know, like size like these. Uh, we go back in here then the final one is weight that's like how bold it is so right, that's all make sure you put a comma at the end right so the font these can just be you can either install a fresh one or you can just use any that you already have on your computer and if you're making a server make sure the client downloads it so we can just scroll through here and choose any we want I'm going to choose academic uh, m54 so it's just wordpad it's kind of show you want all the ones you have on your computer I'm going to just copy that and then we're going to put it up here. So we're not actually like create a font. We're just allowing the the game to use it. So we're going to call. We're going to make it around like 20 in size. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll no, we'll go like 35 in size. And then the weight. Well, it's going to be the title, so I want it fairly thick. Right, so now I've got that. We can just replace the title, which is set font derma large, with that. Make sure we replace it up here because that's why it's used to uh, get the X and Y. Right, so now if we click here, remove, we've got a new title. We probably want to reduce the size because it's overlapping a bit, but change it by two. There we go, now I've got like a nice little new title. I quite like that to be fair. Maybe we want to move, I reckon it needs to move a bit more of the Y, so I'll change that to four. I think it's, yeah, look, there we go, that looks nicer. Right, so now we've got that. That's a, that's a new font we've just created. We've not like created that font, we've just used it in the game. So. You know, it's instead of derma large and so on. Right, so now we're going to add an image. So I'm thinking we're probably going to just add an image on... We just It's going to be a random image. You probably want to delete after this. It's just for me to show it you. So you see in the bottom left, you have this open space. You could put your server logo here uh, or something. So let, to, to let me show you, I'm going to just uh, add a little example image, which is the default one in Gary's mod. So where it's underneath pages, we're going to create a new local uh, variable. We're going to call it example image, and they're going to make it equal to vgui dot create, and then we want to call it uh, make make. We're going to parent it to pages back. So make sure we put a comma there, parent it, page back, close it, and then we want to call it, we're going to just, it's going to be, the element is going to be D image. So this basically just draws an image, and then we're going to put example image, uh, colon, uh, do it three times, and we're going to set the pause. So I've already figured out the areas, so I kind of want it to be five from the edges, will take a little bit of fiddling for you guys, so I'll put five, and then the the way I'm going to do this is I want it so the pages back the size of it pages back is basically from there to there the size of it is why take 43 so that will basically give us I believe it will give us like that area or will it give us that I don't know right so I've just decided to do I think I've done these calculations wrong why take 43 
then take 115 because that's going to be the size of the image which is going to be like 110 I believe so set size this, would, this literally just takes fiddling around there's no other way to do it so I'm going to set it to 110 and the reason why I've done it far away from the edge is so there's a bit of space on the edge and the reason why I've done that is so there's a bit of space on the bottom so this is where we just set the image so we do set image uh, open brackets close brackets we we'll do uh, quote, quote marks and then this is just a default image. You could just use this as a path to any image. I'm going to do this. It's going to just be a background, I believe it's for one of the maps. So now if we press remove, click save, we've got a little background on the maps. You could easily just replace that with your server logo. I recommend having the image as a .png so the background won't be white, it'll be transparent. Because uh, JPEGs have a white background naturally. Right, so that's that. So today we've done the font, just a little quick showcase, showed you how to make fonts, showed you how to put in images, remember you can just replace that with a path to a server image or so on. So now we've done that, we can we can end this episode off, shall we? So next episode we're going to just kind of transfer this font to these buttons, make the buttons look a bit different, uh, and kind of like show how buttons work. Anyway, so thanks for watching guys, make sure you have a good time, and uh, make sure to check out the next video. See you next time. Also, make sure to check out the Discord in links in description below. All of it helps. Make sure to subscribe. Anyway, see ya. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day, guys.